Wars between developed countries are not limited to battlefields. Nowadays, countries are launching cyber attacks to steal valuable information from their rival nations. Our adversaries know that they can't fight a war with us on the battlefield, so what they're doing is trying to attack us in other ways. According to the Cybersecurity Ventures magazine, by 2021 there will be 3.5 million unfilled cybersecurity jobs globally. Filling these positions is going to be a challenge for companies. Cybersecurity is a very challenging field. If you think about preparation of a person, uh, that person has to have some technical background in, in many directions. It might start with things like uh, computers, networks, mobile networks, Internet of Things, and the list is growing every year, so it's very difficult to keep it current. To fill the cybersecurity skills gap, the U.S. government is funding scholarships at universities across the country. I had always had a love of computer science. I had taken computer science classes in undergrad, so I had that love. And when I knew I wanted to get a master's degree, I wanted to get something that was really impactful. Scholarship recipient Natalie Larson is studying cybersecurity at Johns Hopkins University. Larson encourages more women to pursue this male-dominated field. Because of how cybersecurity professionals are portrayed in the media, so all movies and TV shows, so people with hoodies and basements and dark rooms, and they're most normally men. And so I think women don't even think of it as an option because, you know, a little girl sees all these men as cybersecurity professionals, and she doesn't picture herself. So I think it's important that women get out there and show their faces as like, I'm a cybersecurity professional, you know, you can be one too, we're here. Only American citizens or permanent residents of the United States are eligible for these scholarships. At the end of the program, graduates are expected to work at a U.S. government agency for a period equivalent to the length of the scholarship. For Sahar Majid, Bejan Hamdard, VOA News.